Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to show you, in case you didn't know, how you can enable the on-screen touch keyboard on Windows 11. Now it goes without saying that the on-screen touch keyboard would benefit a touchscreen device, but if you are using a non-touchscreen device where this could be handy, uh, could be, as an example, a temporary workaround in case your physical keyboard becomes damaged and then you can just use the on-screen touch keyboard um, to, just to get your work done until um, the, your physical keyboard, obviously those issues are resolved and it gets fixed. So to enable the on-screen touch keyboard on Windows 11, it's quite simple. We just head to the uh, settings menu, head over to personalization. Now you'll see here on the personalization page, um, at first you will see touch keyboard themes and size. We're going to skip that for now. We'll get back to that in a bit. But you want to at first head to taskbar, click on that where we get our taskbar corner icons. And here we get touch keyboard, always show touch keyboard icon and we want to toggle that on and enable that. And now you'll see in the system tray in the bottom right hand corner of the taskbar, uh, the touch keyboard icon is now showing. And to open up and enable the touch keyboard, we just click on that and that shows that up on the desktop and you can drag it around to any location um, on your desktop. Now, um, as mentioned, um, uh, it, it would benefit a touchscreen device, but you can still use it on a non-touchscreen device, as you can see. And then just to go through some of the options, you get your emoji panel where you can add the different emoji. And just to go through these settings, there's quite a few. You get a default layout, uh, you can have a small layout, then traditional, and if you just put that back to default, and then you get handwriting, which is quite, a, uh, could be a, a quite a good option just to get some little notes scribbled down quickly. So I'm just going to do anything and see what that comes up with well. And then you can obviously just backspace and that will delete that. Let's just put it back to uh, default. And then if we head back to that uh, gear icon for the settings, uh, you can change the theme and resize it. So um, that's the menu I'm, I referred to earlier on. And here we get the keyboard size. So you can just drag that to whatever size you want. And then you get different themes, default light, dark, and so on, which will just change the color scheme um, of the keyboard. Just heading back to the settings and you get more settings typing language and so on and then obviously to close it you can just um, close that out and although you have closed it it will still um, reside here in the system tray so to disable it and toggle the feature off completely uh, you can just reverse the process by heading back to personalization taskbar and you can just toggle that off and now you'll see uh, that the touch keyboard icon has disappeared so that's how you en enable and disable the touch keyboard, the on-screen keyboard on Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.